the only thing you should be using your trash for is to take trash out. And if you take a trash bag and give it to a child, what are we telling them? Rob Shear is talking about the 400,000 foster children in this country who often are sent from home to home carrying all their belongings in a trash bag. We're telling them that they're worth no more than trash. Shear, who spent eight years in foster care, wanted to send a different message. So in 2013, he started something called comfort cases. We wanted to make sure that they had more than a trash bag. So we give them a case with a brand new pair of pajamas, a toothbrush, a bar of soap, a blanket, and a book. What difference can that make? It makes a huge difference. To understand, listen to Rob's story. When he turned 18 and the government checks ran out, his foster father put him on the street. Rob ended up working in a taco restaurant while he went to school. The owner knew that I was homeless, and so he would leave the outside bathroom door unlocked for me to sleep in at night. So you graduated from high school Graduated homeless. from high school homeless. But after a stint in the Navy, Rob went into the mortgage business and married Reese. And in 2009, they decided to adopt from foster care. Amaya was four and her little brother Makai was two. We were told that the little boy was probably never going to speak and that if he did walk, he would walk with braces on his legs. He had such severe alcohol fetal syndrome. Three months later, they took in another pair of siblings, Grayson and Tristan. It was while raising his new family, Rob made a discovery. A child deserves to own something that's brand new, that belongs to them. So this is what we got to do. There are checklists that you will grab. So Rob and Reese started comfort cases, organizing packing parties. Are we having fun yet? The first year, they put together a couple of hundred duffel bags and backpacks. By last year, 25,000 to six states in D.C. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. Amaya is now 13. She is amazing. She loves the charity. Today we have Bill Day. My son Grayson, who is 10, I always call him my spokesperson. But that's not where this story ends. <laughs> Reese read that being around animals could help someone with Mackay's condition. You're going to get them all up there, Mackay? So three years ago, we bought a farm, and we bought a farm with goats and chickens, and we were barely getting by with Mackay. And now, three years later, Makai gets on a school bus every single day and turns around and waves bye to his dads. Every single day, Makai looks at me and for the first time last year said, I love you, Daddy. Rob cites shocking numbers. Three quarters of the people sent to prison have some link to foster care. More than 70% of foster children will become homeless. His goal. That every single child in foster care no longer carries a trash bag. But I really hope that we as a community realize that the over 400,000 children deserve the same thing that we give each of our children. And that's love. And that's letting them know that they are wanted.